Welcome to Brentwood High School. Brentwood High School is the largest suburban public school in New York State. Recently, Brentwood has received negative press as a result of gang violence. Approximately 83% of our students are of Hispanic ethnicity, and 88% are considered economically disadvantaged. Hi, my name is Dr. Rebecca Grella. Welcome to the Brentwood High School Research Lab. Today you're going to see a great lesson that was prepared for you by the students of the Brentwood High School Research Program. The students prepared a lesson for our, our special needs population here, um, run by teacher Gina Murphy. And what we'll do today is we'll discuss uh, seed germination, we'll do some graphing, some graphical analysis, and we'll do some hands-on inquiry-based studies with plants uh, that are found local in our environment. Hi, my name is Sanjita Chattery, and I'm one of the mentors for our Ms. Murphy special needs class. Allow me to introduce to you just one of the amazing groups of students that utilize our research lab. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Hello. How's it going? Great. How are you today? Everybody good? Yeah. Welcome to the research lab. Today we have Hunter and his colleagues, and they're going to tell you a little bit about salt marsh grasses. So why don't you introduce yourselves first? Hi, my name is Mrs. Murphy, and welcome to the research lab. Right now we have two groups of students who are working together. We have our applied life skills students working with our research students. Some plants are bigger than others. Why are some plants bigger than others that you have? Some roots are bigger than other roots, and some some of the above ground of the plant or the grass itself is larger than other plants. Why is that? Why are they growing differently? Why might the plants grow different? Yeah, what did you tell us they needed, guys? What do plants need to grow? Water. Water. So why do you Modifying the lessons for the students is easy academically. It would be so wonderful if they had the technology they needed to make it even easier for them. They enjoy what they're doing in here, but it can be challenging to scribe for some of the students. Hearing sometimes a problem for them. If we had something that had the technology, the handheld, that we could input the data and have the graphs done immediately, it would be something that would assist and enrich their life. This one. So don't you think we should try to figure out what this had to make it grow bigger? Wouldn't that be a better garden for us? So one. Hi, I'm, I'm Jake Mulderig. I'm a technology education teacher here at Brentwood High School. Been working with the research uh, students along with the life skill students on some hydroponic units. Uh, they are growing plants and then they're going to record data and use that information to grow better plants. This is a hydroponics unit that we built. Um, we, uh, it took a lot of time um, with the tools and the equipment that we had to construct this. It would be a lot easier if we had some better tools and some more technology involved um, to help make the plants grow better. What do you think it is? Do you hear something in there? Miss Murphy said it. She said, listen, what, did, what do you hear? So that is what we call a hydroponic grow unit. Go. And Data collection and writing things down is usually hard for the special needs students of Broadwood High School. So by doing activities like this, we're allowed to expand their ability in writing down things and collecting data by incorporating new technology as well. Sadly, just a lack of resources as well. These groups are usually large. So by getting access to larger amounts of resources, we're allowed to make the group smaller, which would be beneficial to everyone. Really big. So Implementing digital tools will be an asset to our data collection. That is a great plant. Nice and healthy, right? Come on, With the assistance of Shell, we will expand our lab's horizon. I love dirt. You know what's really fun when you're playing? The research students are the mentors for the life skills students. And in so doing, they're helping them collect data. What would be a lot easier for these students is if they had technology like uh, iPads, like Bernier equipment to collect digitally the data that they can then see in real time. With this group of individuals, it would be easier for them to manipulate these devices. So it is our goal with the Shell funds to build a lab that more students can use and that will be accessible to more of the student population here at Brentwood. Thank you so much for your consideration.